how to distract yourself from pain. So pain, pain is something we all feel, right? So, uh, and I really wanted to do this question because everybody is wired differently. So the way I deal with, deal with pain may not be the way you deal with pain. But when it comes to pain, most people don't even know what to do. They're just angry and they're just in that zone and it continues for a long, long period of time hampering. Now, how do I know it? Because I used to be one of those people. I used to be whiny and complaining and, you know, just too much into my negative zone. So I will tell you how I cope up with pain. So the number one thing you should be doing and the number one thing I do when I feel any sort of pain is I don't resist it. So when you feel pain, you always feel like, you know, you try to resist it. You try to punch it back and you don't want to feel the pain. But in order for you to overcome the pain, the first step is to feel the pain. Allow yourself, allow your body, your mind, your heart to feel the pain. Because without feeling it, you're never going to be able to let it go. You have to feel the pain. Accept the pain. Accept that something bad has happened. So you can start the process of overcoming it. I hope that makes sense. Second thing, getting over the pain is a process. There is no magic formula. There is no secret sauce. There is no overnight success. It is a process. Now, you just can't tell me, give me this tip and I'm going to overcome the pain. <laughs> That's not going to happen. That never happens. So don't put yourself in a time frame that within a week, I have to just get over the, this pain. Or within a month, I have to get this mindset changed. No, don't put yourself in that barrier. Getting inside the situation is a process. Getting outside of the situation is similarly a process. The third thing is, you need to do what you need to do. A lot of people like to stay alone. A lot of people like to stay in a crowd. They want loud things to come inside their head. If you are not comfortable speaking to people about the situation in your life, you don't necessarily have to do it. You know, you can, you can sit there in silence. You can meditate. You can watch a movie. You can do what you have to do. You don't have to do what other people are advising you to do. If someone comes and tells you, hey, let's go out, but you don't feel like going out, it's completely fine to not go out. Do what you need to do. Number four, my last and final tip and the most important step. Transform your being. Everything is energy. It is not made nor created. It is transformed. So your pain itself is also a form of energy. What to do with this energy? Now this energy is creating a havoc inside of you. This energy is not good for you. It is slowing you down, it is stopping you, it is pausing you, it is making you do all sorts of nonsense stuff. What you need to do is you transform this pain. What I do is I put, your, I put myself into work. I write down things, I'm blogging, and I'm shooting videos, and I'm, I'm, you know, I'm working. So for me, my transformational tip is to work it out. Now for you, it may be working out physically. Maybe you can do an activity, maybe you can go out, swim and run. A transformation tip could be that you want to vent out to your friends. The transformation process is for you to let the pain out of you, let the energy out of you. So when you're with a friend, when you're with your partner, when you're with anybody, maybe even a stranger, a lot of people come to me and tell me their stuff and I'm like okay with it because I understand the importance of venting out. So just take the things out of you. The more you hold on to it, the more it cause more and more and more and more pain. Let it out, vent it out, transform the pain.